There have been many battles in the human race. Alien versus Predator, Vitality versus Predator, Jesus Christ versus a cross. Lord have mercy. Oh. Rest in peace. That's gonna send me to hell. But there has never been a battle as formidable, as mighty, as Battle of the Bastards. Jon Snow. Just kidding. It is obviously Mr. Beast versus Rosanna. If you do know not. If you know not, do what's going on, bro. English. Rosanna, a woman... <laughs> I've got a weird, like, cough. A woman who, well... She's a cook. She bakes. She makes cupcakes and cookies and puts it on YouTube. She went on a Mr. Beast show and they fell out big time. I mean, talk about the Gallaghers. This was even worse. There is no Oasis reunion with this one. They are not getting on stage to be best friends. She basically came um, into contact with messages, a group chat that Mr. Beast employees were all in. Now, obviously, if anyone knows what goes on in the lads group chat, if anyone's lads group chats got exposed to the FBI, everyone will be in prison. All right, let's get that fucking straight. But this is a work group chat, and there was stuff about paedophilia, which obviously is just disgusting. You know, you might send a racist meme. I don't, because I don't believe in racism. I'm a good boy, Christian. But all my disgusting friends who do, they're going to be in trouble when... Just you wait, man, goddamn, just you wait. I'm going to snitch on these bitches so fast that they're going to not see it coming. They're going to be in jail for the rest of their lives, and then I'm going to steal all that money, especially their PS5s, and I'm going to be rich. <laughs> anyway, we have an article here. So he, she basically reported the information, these horrible messages, these memes, these disgusting sort of paedophilia linked to underage. There's literally mention of underage porn in it. I've, men I've seen it. I'm not going to play the clip because YouTube's been a bit weird with me recently. And she's reported it to the Federal Bureau of Investigations, not the F... FIB and GTA, the real FBI. I mean, talk about a snitch. God damn, I mean, P. Diddy's not going to snitch as hard as Rosanna just did. Jesus. He's only 26, Mr. Beast. I thought he was like an old man. Fair enough. She's 39-year-old Baker, and she uploaded the video. You can go check it. It's called Mr. Beast, new all along. Brackets, 1,000 leaked messages. So she's no longer cooking cookies. She's now cooking YouTubers. The pair claimed so that he was with someone called Dogpack404, never heard of him, don't know who he is, don't care. The pair claimed that Donaldson knew about the Ava and Chris Tyson's problematic behaviour. I think problematic behaviour is what you describe a toddler who is running around, you know, shitting his pants and peeing on your best friend's sofa. Not messaging underage girls and link, you know, sending them weird porn, like, that's disgusting, bruh. These that were confirmed as legitimate by multiple retired retired you know former mr beast workers one of them found christianity i mean it's so weird isn't it he leaves and finds christianity it makes you think they were some satanic you know cult or something like that who knows oh my god so yeah here it was it, apparently it included a 13 year old girl ivanka trump so there was a young looking girl it turns out it was her it was her but when she was 18 it is been confirmed it was ivanka trump but when she was 18 so she wasn't 13 but it was still sexually explicit photos uh, they you know talked said horrible nasty things and then she said tyson sends a photo of a young looking girl in a sheer top so it wasn't her so they got some things wrong and i think you gotta be careful don't you you don't know what you're doing and they said, yeah, she's underage. It's a banker Trump when she was six. No, she was 18 and she even came forward and said it. I mean, she got millions and millions of views, uh, you know, shit like that. And, you know, Drama Alert even tweeted it. I mean, it must be serious, bro. I have reported what I found and my concerns to the at FBI. I mean, what world do we live in where, you know, you report... I wonder how you report to the FBI. Do they have, like, an email? I might try to report some people I don't like. Let me think on that. If you know how to report someone, let me know. Um, all jokes aside, I'm being really serious. I've got some people who are really mean me as a kid and I'd like to get paid back. I've been planning it, thinking of how I can destroy their lives and I feel like this would be really good. So if you'd like to help a fellow white boy out, please uh, let me know. Just for research purposes. So after they found out that the, the chats were correct, the chats were all real, they said some weird disgusting stuff about people they knew, about people they don't know. And it's weird, you know, they're a professional business, but also you got to think, you know, these are lads. Have you listened to a PS4 chat, PS5 chat? I mean, the, the stuff said on there will get you in prison and fired from every job other than being a bin man. So you find out, obviously, that uh, Rosanna and Dogpack um, didn't lie, but not all of what they thought was true. Now, loads of people blew up on the internet saying, oh, they could fire, face up to five years in federal prison. 
bullshit. That's just horseshit. Drama alert. Killer Keemstar is just a rodent of this planet. Now, one thing I'd like to just bring up, though, because I'm no Mr. Beast fan. I've never really watched a video, hand on heart, swear on my grandma's life, n never cared for him, never been interested. Even when I was younger, never cared. But this, Dog Pack 404, this guy's been trying to explode, expose him for some police, you know, tended to be. So he basically insinuated Lunchly were getting pulled when that didn't happen. They were just moldy cheese, which is even better. Yum, yum, yum. Failed to research an anime to make Mr. Beast seem, seem like a creep. They mentioned that this anime that they spoke about was about an underage prostitute or something like that. I don't know the story, so I'm not going to say anything, but it, I think I saw a community note, thank you Elon, where it said it's just about a girl who is a prostitute who runs runs away from home and he takes her in or something like that. Obviously he got the age of the woman wrong, which is, you know, a huge mistake. I mean, like to accuse someone of talking about Ivanka Trump at 18, uh, at like 12 is very different to 18. I mean, you've got to be off your tits to do that. I mean, you thought, you'd think you'd do some research, but failed to go to the FBI before making the video. So that's what the claims are being tested on. And then wrongly repeat, reported, not credible. I mean, Mr. you know, drama alert's a fucking inbred hillbilly. You know what I mean? And then just to um, prove a point, Keemstar, who, someone I can't believe is still someone we, we utter. I mean, I remember when I was like 10. I'm 22. 22. Jesus. We must cancel her. She must go. So this is like a group chat. Oh, you are taking the piss. How am I supposed to read that? It didn't look like that earlier. Oh, that didn't work, did it? I mean, who, who, what moron uploads that? You probably can't hear me. Sorry. Sorry, Steve. But it's alright, I can read it. Right, I can actually read it. My eyes are decent. I've just got to zoom in. I mean, zoom in myself. Like, you can't see me, but I'm reading it, like... I'm like a CS GoPro right now. So someone had fall asleep to her with third roll. No, no, no. Wonder why they cut her. We must cancel her for the most ridiculous thing in the future, like biting her nails in public, make her lose one mil subs. She must go. This is Keemstar saying this, by the way. True, she just wasn't entertaining. That's why they subbed Logan. The way she was found found was boring. Okay, okay. So she's running Twitter ads on the clip she's posting from h3 i mean you know what i mean killer keemstar spent his whole life reporting and mentioning other people's dramas other people's flaws and yeah now she's doing it it's not okay dude if this was keemstar unretired he would have made 30 videos on mr beast he's just trying to stick his tongue so far up his ass he says basically she must go yeah no he doesn't say anything there yeah he's just basically saying how she's a, a rat is basically what i gathered from that like you, you're just disgusting i mean look this is it and then she tweeted this i think she's quite a badass i have to lie i can't lie i think what well, i'm really enjoying what she's doing <laughs> i think watching this whole ship burn with Mr. Beast, Amazon. This is just proof that YouTube is not shouldn't be corporatized. YouTube is about people, individuals, maybe a group of individuals making content to entertain. Mr. Beast just as Jack Septicai said, it ruined it. He's made it all about money and doing these fucking dumb shit, which is still good. I love watching like you know people going to islands and surviving and shit like that and fishing videos. Who don't love a fishing video? But he's ruined it. I mean, he's going to Amazon and stuff. Like I just don't care for him. But if you do, that's completely fine. We're allowed. That's why there's millions and millions of creators so we can watch what we like. So that she got she got obviously all attacked and then she said this keeps our heads up. Someone from Mr. Beast's camp is allegedly icing him for comments regarding Chris. I'll tell Jimmy. <laughs> I better go tell mummy and daddy what's going on. <laughs> mummy, my my brother's just, he's just, he's telling the truth. Dear, but I don't like it. It's pathetic. So yeah, there's Keemstar with his pants up. I mean, he's just tongue so far up the arse. He's eating chocolate cake. It's terrible. Terrible. So there was also a thing, I'd just like to show this. I did mention it earlier, but they were saying it was like a not say. What's it stand for? Not safe for work meme chat uh, created by Ava. So it was a chat basically for memes and just, you know, not, not safe for work. Like, I, I've never been in a chat like that. Like, what does that even mean? Like, I, th I thought that was like porn. Like, is it not? You always... This pussy piece of shit pl acting like he don't know what's going on, man. This guy's a bigger porn addict than P. Diddy shoves lube bottles up his butt crack. Goddamn, this motherfucking lying bitch. Important people that need to share important messages. So, see, Mr. Beast main, this was just people, you know, trying to say, oh, this was just a, a joke of a, a morpsus that Kingstar is in business with Mr. Beast and an indisclosed partnership. Care to 
clear that up, Keem. So apparently they're in business, they're in bed together. God damn. She, I'm not going to go through all these, but she proves it very clearly that this is this was about work and memes. You know what I mean? It was like the main group chat they all do. The Guna Gang, that's what you call Arsenal fans. <laughs> and his attack puppies would band together to defend pedos and Mr. Beast. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, she goes on. I mean, I'm not going to read all these, but she goes on. Are you all starting at 97.9? Just curious, 10.30, 12.30 for us, but we're breaking hella laws. So we will probably be 12. See you then, baby. So yeah, it's all about work. They can pretend it was a meme group chat if they want to try cover their bacon, but it clearly was not. And to end you on this, a fine meme I have found. Logan Paul revealed that lunch leaves received a bomb threat. Oh my God, Rosanna, chill. <laughs> Because she obviously found mouldy cheese and, you know, rightfully so, sent a bomb their way and said, well, if you're going to kill me, I'm going to do one back to you. It's obviously not true. <clears throat> she didn't actually do it. My, my conclusion, I, I don't have one. I think Rosanna is doing a great thing. I think Ava is the problem. I think Mr. Beast, did he know? Did he not? That's the big question. I, I probably think no. I mean, I don't know Mr. Beast. I don't know what he's like. Did maybe... I'm not saying this is true, but maybe did he let things slip because she was, or he was trans, is it she or she, they were transgender and he didn't want to come across online as maybe uh, a bigot, you know, people would wrap a story and make things worse than they actually are, I'm not saying that's true, it's just a theory. You know, could it have been that he didn't want to sort of like cause a scene and he didn't maybe quite know the extent? Again, there's no excuse for it. If I knew my friend was doing stuff and messaging 12 year olds, I think I'd kick the fuck out of them yeah i would don't encourage violence nah bro some people deserve a stomp some people do man but yeah seriously um rosanna's on an absolute kill mission here and fair play to her it's quite entertaining to watch we'll see you know if there's any major updates but i think you know jimmy's whole persona has changed isn't he he's no longer looking like a friendly guy i saw this meme where it's like jimmy smiles without the eyes and it's just like this like you know what I mean? He's not. He's not. He's not really wanting to do it. It's all about money now. It's all about this game. All about manipulating people and trying to get as much out of they can as their audience. Let me know what you think. I. I. Uh, I hope Rosanna keeps pushing. Um, I think Ava's a weirdo. You know. Um, uh, links with messaging underage people, lots of them, and it can't be forgotten. It shouldn't be forgotten. Mr. Beast, she was a part of. Oh, he, they were a part of Mr. Beast. I don't know what they are. They were a part of Mr. Beast, and that can't be ignored just because she's gone. It can't be. But yeah, get your thoughts in.